Hey folks, welcome back. This is my backyard. A couple years ago, I built this fence out of old pallet wood. And, um, well, I always kind of had in mind that maybe I'd replace it with something a little bit nicer. And my new neighbors have decided they want to put something nicer in. So I'm taking down part of the fence anyway. Now, most of it I built with this in mind that I was going to take it down at some point, so it came down pretty easily. So I built, uh, put all the posts in with gravel, except for this one at the very end. This one had to support a gate, so this has concrete in it, which means that it is in there tight. So how do we get it out? Well, let's use some levers. So here's the plan. We've got this post that needs to come out, and uh, just pulling up on it, that's not enough force to get it up. We've got this big concrete chunk uh, at the bottom there, and we have to pull through some dirt. Uh, so, we're going to use a lever, and there are a few different classes of lever. There's first, second, and third class levers. We're going to use what's called a second class lever. Now, the only difference between the levers is how the fulcrum, the, the pivot point, is positioned uh, with relation to how you're pulling and what you're trying to lift or trying to push. Uh, so, a first class lever, we have the fulcrum. This will be my fulcrum here. The fulcrum is in the middle of that lever. And so I push down on one side and the other side goes up, or I pull up on one side and the other side goes down. So um, our arc lever here is gonna be a second class lever. And that's where our fulcrum is at the end. And in this case, our uh, uh, effort force is gonna be on the far side. And the output force is gonna be somewhere in the middle. Mine's gonna be pretty close to the fulcrum. So here's the fulcrum. I'm gonna lift on this side. Here's where we're going to uh, try and apply that force. So on my actual uh, uh, device here, I'm gonna have the fulcrum right at the very end. So it's gonna be um, up on these blocks of wood so it doesn't sink into the grass. We're gonna attach with just a single screw to the post and then I'm gonna pull up on the far end there. So I'm pulling on one side, the pivot's on the other side and in the middle we have our, uh, our output force. So I'm gonna try and measure this out so we've got uh, a about a 10 to 1 ratio on uh, on forces and so uh, all we have to do is figure out distances this is an eight foot length of, uh, of board so we've got a 96 inch piece there so I'm just gonna position this so that about well 96 over 10 about 9.6 inches so somewhere in there is where my uh, uh, where my output load is gonna be so I've got uh, about a 10 to 1 distance ratio that means I'll have about a 10 to 1 force ratio as well so let's get this attached and see if we can get this post out so we've got our lever in place we've got our fulcrum a tenth of the way out and our uh, effort force is going to be all the way on the end so we should have a 10 to 1 force and let's just assume that I can lift I don't know 500 pounds probably a pretty good assumption. So 500 pounds times 10, that's 5,000 pounds worth of force I'm applying here. I look like a guy who can lift 500 pounds, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll say like 100 or uh, 150 pounds worth of force here. Uh, so multiply that by 10, we're into the thousands of pounds of force. So if the screw holds, we should be able to make some pretty good progress here. That's a big F, so we'll, we'll just see how it goes. I'll leave the microphone on so you can hear all the grunting and straining. Here we go. Oh, this is my bed. All right, and we got some progress, but like I thought, the screw didn't actually hold there. So let's try something a little bit stronger. But we did actually get this lifted up a fair amount before it uh, uh, came down. I wonder, nope, still not coming out. All right, let's get something stronger. True to form, my neighbor's AC kicked on about five seconds before I started shooting this part of the video. It's summer, can't avoid it. Uh, I found these uh, these big lag bolts. I don't think that's gonna break under the force that, uh, that we're applying to it. But uh, we gotta keep in mind that this is a huge amount of force, even if I, I, I don't think I was applying 100 pounds of force over there, but if I did apply 100 pounds of force over there, on this side, we'd be getting 1,000 pounds of force. That's 1,100 pounds of force altogether just on this one bolt, or in the case before, just on the, the one screw there. So that is a huge amount of force. We really do need something pretty thick if we're gonna uh, get this thing to lift up and uh, not break. So this one definitely won't break. Let's get this in place and we'll see how we do.
And we actually get a chance to use a second lever on, uh, on this project, so it's a pretty good day. And I put this, uh, this bolt in, and so we need the whole thing to pivot around the very center of the bolt. If I try to do this by hand, I'm applying a force that's really, really near the fulcrum. So all I'm doing by using the socket wrench here is extending that lever arm here. Now this one is kind of a tricky one, first, second, third class lever, because the load that we're trying to apply is, uh, um, is very, very near to that, that fulcrum, that axis of rotation. Uh, but this one's going to be, the, the axis of rotation to be right at the very, uh, very middle. We're trying to apply a load here, just a little bit outside from that, and then I'm applying a force on the very end. So it actually ends up being exactly the same kind of lever as we have here, another second class lever. So, let's get this one installed. Okay, so it's sticking out a little bit. That's actually okay. I didn't drill the hole all the way through to the back and the bolt is longer than the post and we'll be fine. Let's try applying that load again. See how we do. All right, I got a good feeling this time. Let's give it a shot. Oh, there it goes. Well, I'd say that's uh, that's better living through physics right there, digging out a post. Not a chance. Use a lever. Thanks very much for watching, folks. Uh, keep watching for more Cavendish videos, more physics uh, applied in real life, and more physics that you can apply in a physics class. Uh, if you found this useful, by all means, please hit the, the like button, subscribe, share it with somebody else you think would, uh, would find this useful, especially if they happen to be digging out posts. Pretty good method. Thanks, everybody.